All right, guys, today we're going to look at conjunctions. Not just conjunctions, but coordinating conjunctions. That's kind of a lot. It's a little bit of a mouthful. But a conjunction is just a word that's used to join words or sentences or phrases. So, I'm going to give you uh, the seven conjunctions, and then we will look on another sheet of paper, write some sentences that help us uh, see kind of what those are. So, the first one is... Well, we have this acronym called FANBOYS, okay? So I'm gonna write a conjunction on each one of these and that might help us remember. The first one is FOR. Okay, that is a conjunction. That can help you take two thoughts or sentences or words and put them together. Um, the next one is AND. That's a very familiar one. Most of us know that one. NOR. That, that one's not very common and though people don't really use that one a whole lot. But, that's pretty common. Or, yet, and so. Those are the seven conjunctions we're going to look like. For, and, nor, but, or, yet, so. Or, fanboys. So, let's look at, on the other page, um, let's come up with some sentences for each one. Let's say, uh, Mila ate a sandwich. comma, for she was hungry. All right, now the thing about this is that Mila ate a sandwich is a whole sentence all by itself. We could put a period right here and be done with that sentence. She was hungry is also a sentence all by itself. But for whatever reason, we've decided to combine these two sentences together um, with the word for. And for is going to be our conjunction in this sentence. And when you put a conjunction there, we've got to have a comma. So that's why we have this comma here. So Mila ate a sandwich for she was hungry. So that is our conjunction in this sentence. Okay? So let's look at another sentence using the conjunction and. All right? I will have fries... comma, and I would like a milkshake. Got my period. Now, that's all one sentence right now. But if we look at the first sentence, I will have fries. That can be a sentence all by itself. I would like a milkshake could also be a sentence all by itself, but we've decided to combine them. So we said, I will have fries and, which is our conjunction, I would like a milkshake. And then I put a comma before the conjunction. All right, let's look at the conjunction nor, which like I said, it's not very common, but people do use it. So I do not like carrots, comma, and here's our conjunction, nor do I like broccoli. And there's our coordinated conjunction between those two thoughts or those two phrases. All right. Okay, let's look at but. But connects two opposite ideas here. So let's say Sam usually plays soccer. And we'll put our comma here. But he has a broken ankle. He has a broken ankle. Okay, Sam usually plays soccer, he has a broken ankle. Sam usually plays soccer, but he has a broken ankle. So I'm assuming now he's not playing soccer. But is the conjunction. All right, let's look at the next conjunction, or, or. Would you like mustard? Or do you want K? 
ketchup. Or is our conjunction. So you're looking, you're seeing how we're using these in our sentences. Let's continue with the word yet. Yet. I was having a good day at school. I was having a good day at school. Yet, I wanted to go home. There's yet right here in the middle. That's our conjunction. And the last one is so. So, it was cold outside. So, I put on a sweater. Now, the nice thing about conjunctions, there's so, which is our conjunction, is that conjunctions help make our writing a little more interesting. Instead of just listing, I will have fries, I will have a milkshake, I will have a burger. If we add a conjunction, it makes it sound a little more fluent or fluid than if we just um, write one sentence and put a period, write sen a sentence and put a period. So, just something to think about, our conjunctions again, or and, nor, but, or yet so, or fanboys, if it, that helps you remember. All right?